Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how I play with this um, double-sided adhesive tape, I guess you can call it. Um, it's by Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to play with this one. And I will link it below um, where uh, you guys can purchase this. This is not um, sponsored or anything like that. So let me go ahead and get started. I do want to show you guys the uh, paper that I'm going to use uh, to demonstrate. It's just from uh, Recollections, um, and I bought this at Michael's. Always use your coupons. Don't forget. So that's that sheet of paper. And then you will need a paper cutter. So this comes in handy. I have already pre-cut. I have already pre-cut um, this, which is right here um just to let you guys know this is super sticky super tacky so just careful with that see i can't get it off my finger okay hello thank you thank you yes um and i'll show you guys if i can i not hear it super smooth but very sticky so just heads up with that. I'm going to show you two ways that I like to play with this double-sided tape. One is using the Big Shot and one is using my Silhouette. You can use a Cricut also, not a problem, um, but for the purpose of this, I've already pre-cut uh, from the Silhouette. Um, you guys, here, how to do that now. There is this. Now what we're going to do, I hope you guys can see me. Stick it down. Like so. Just like that. It doesn't have to be all the way aligned like that. You can have a little sticking off. You can have a little missing there because our uh, cutout is going to be right in the middle. We're not going to use the entire thing. So now that that's been adhered, I'm going to just cut it up smaller so I have um, less bulkiness and stuff. Don't forget, always throw it in your scraps. So there's that. Let me go ahead and set up my big shot so we can go ahead and cut one out. Okay, so I have set up here. These are going to be uh, my pressure um, platforms. And then I've got this other one that's meant for um, the very thin parts of um, like a, a, a die cut that you're cutting out. As you can tell, I've already used it plenty of times. And then this is just your, your base um, platform. So I'm going to set this one here. I'm going to be working with the part that we already stuck onto that white piece of paper. We're going to be working, oops, excuse me. We're gonna be working with a snowflake. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to set, so we're going to set this one down. We are going to apply this one here. This one will go right there. This one will go face down, like so. This one is going to go on top. Poor little thing, it's all bent up. Okay, I'm going to insert it in. I do like to go through it, and then I would go backwards. So let's do this. I am short, so I need it closer to me. I do want to give you guys some information as far as um, the settings that I used. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm in California, so there's horrible allergies right now. Um, I did select the cardstock textured um, uh, selection um, and then I switched to a ratchet blade. Even though I am using the Silhouette Cameo, I have a ratchet blade put in. I don't like their automatic blade. For me, for whatever reason, it jams up all the time. <coughs> um, maybe it's just me. I don't know. User error. I don't know. But I found that once I switched it to the ratchet blade, it worked just fine. Um, and I did have my blade at number four, not as suggested, which is number three. I have it at four. And then the thickness, it programs it to 30. I bumped it up to 32. 
just so that I made sure that it cut through all the way. It doesn't cut through the mat. It cuts just perfectly as you can tell. It cut just fine. So just wanted to give you those dimensions there. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys the fun part because this is like super cool. Okay, so what we're going to do, make sure you have a surface underneath you, uh, or surface. <laughs> make sure you have something underneath you like a plain white piece of paper or a coffee filter, something of the sort. So uh, the glitter that falls, you can uh, reuse later. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart here. For this one, since it's a four leaf clover, I am going to go ahead and just use this glitter. Um, this is just a green glitter, green glitter that I just had in my little glitter box. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Okay. Pull down the little corner there. All we're gonna do is just sprinkle it on. Make sure you're being very generous. Massage it in, make sure it is fully adhered. Just tap a little bit more. And there's your double sided tape with the glitter. Pretty freaking cool, huh? Let me show you some more. Now I want to show you guys this one. This one, we're going to do the same thing. So this is where some of the more fun stuff starts. Let's go ahead and peel this one. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is this. You guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to cover it like that. Okay, so we're gonna grab just a tad bit of silver done is just the top. This is what I'm going to show you guys next. We're going to lay this down like so. Make sure it's there. Now I'm going to play with these two. I have this, I don't even know how to say that, hematite, hematite, whatever, um, from uh, Martha Stewart. And then this is another one of those that came in the pack probably hasn't been used. Nope, it hasn't. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to use this one. Layer it down. And then we're going to just rub it on there. Pretty cool. So now, I'm going to lift it and look at that line. Freaking killer, right? So now I'm going to oh, stick. I'm going to go around here. Just 
take it down. Now we're gonna go in with our other color. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but once you rub it in, it gets darker. It's so freaking cool. Now we're going to switch back to our other color. So that is another one. You can play around with these colors, but they come out so freaking cute. If you want to do uh, scrapbook pages and you want to do like Christmas themes or even St. Patrick's Day theme, you can still play around with these. Do something like this on here. Each clove can be a little bit of a different color. It would look so freaking cool. Here's that one. Now I'm going to show you this last one using um, Elizabeth um, Craft Designs using their um, their glitter. Okay, so this last one I'm going to show you guys is the snowflake, and we're going to be using her colors here. <laughs> this is one of the fun parts is taking it off. <laughs> okay. So, the color that I'm using is 629 Soft Teal, made in the USA. And like I said, I will link it all down below. Okay, super fine, it's super pretty. And look how beautiful that looks. Like genuinely, that is gorgeous. And so, you can put this on your scrapbook pages, you can make Christmas cards, birthday cards. Just imagine like a cupcake with like gorgeous glitter icing on top that you could do out of this. Like it would just look freaking amazing. I think this is super cool. This tape is really awesome. Um, and I really hope you guys found this helpful. I'm sorry that I'm not that great at tutorials. Um, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you guys learned something from this again I will link everything down below um, Yeah, let me know any other suggestions or if you guys have this what do you guys do? I'd be more than happy to look at a different video. Maybe I can learn something um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if not not a problem I take positive criticism um, Also, I did want to share a purchase that I just made I've already taken it out of its box, but it's the foil quill. <laughs> so excited for this, but I can't wait to play with this. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial on the foil quill. Uh, I might do like a first impression sort of thing, but yeah, super excited to try this out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.